It's just Shazam Day at Comic Con. We're gonna do another video following up to talk about something else. That's a little that everyone's really excited. A little, little disappointing. We'll talk that, about that it. Definitely <laughs> happened and took place today. It's on my mind. But we got a Black Adam trailer that, as we expected. So, John, Greg, Andrew, Greg, citizens of the Reject Nation, leave a like, Shazam that like button. Also, subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified for whatever else we can cover for the day of Comic Con. Now, let's see this Black Adam trend. My powers are not a gift, Ooh. but a curse. This movie does look beautiful. Born Got some of that out. Snyder <laughs> flair. <laughs> Don't cool. fight! <laughs> you believe you are not worthy. Wow. Psych. Oh, he's got some cyclones. Ho ho! Nice. <laughs> you can be the destroyer of this world. Ooh. Or you can be its savior. Ooh. The world needed a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, it got me. Oh, no. God damn it. Good damn it, Hawkman. I'm so excited to see Noah sent to me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's all about my. <laughs> I do find that man a very charming actor that Noah Centineo. Yeah. That was a cool trailer. Cool little tease that we got here. I'm looking forward to this film. I was re-watching the first trailer yesterday. I've been looking up on Black Adam. Looking up at Black Adam. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. All uh, of us are. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been researching on Black Adam. They keep saying that in these trailers that he's he's gonna be a villain, but it, it seems pretty obvious that by the end of this film, Black Adam's <laughs> definitely gonna be a hero what i was looking up apparently in this film like the justice society of america they are no longer formed so you got like people here who are linked to it in a lot everyone here is like linked to it in some way hawkman and you know uh dr fate dr fate adam smasher cyclone cyclone yes we all got a name we in. all we did, did it. it we all did it we successfully Check. named <laughs> all of the justice society of america characters yeah so there's like a history here with hawkman i think there's like a lineage connection here from who um black adam was before he was awakened like back in the ancient times and in this timeline there is some type of lineage connection so i don't know the full details of what's expected to come ex exactly out of it. I imagine that they're also setting up to get a Justice Society of America movie that by the end of this movie, they will eventually get decide to form. To yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm kind of curious how they're going to handle Black Adam's arc in this film because clearly you're going to see the past of when given the Shazam powers, when he was wronged, then he wakes up in present time not sure what his goal is yeah. <laughs> at time. Is it to get revenge? Just to take it, to, it out on everyone. Is it to dominate the world? Is it the free conduct? So yeah, I, I, I don't know exactly what his, his motive is here, but it seems like from watching the first trailer, watching this, the things I read up on about this movie, the research I've done on Black Adam, I'm probably going to fight with him at first. And then by the end, he's going to be working with them, right? It just seems like that's the trajectory of the film. Yeah, but I like <laughs> that they're not going with the BVS trailer approach where it's they like... Show you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like you, you set up the matchup. And I actually, even though this is a, a short kind of tease, I do kind of prefer this look at it because it started to hit me of how kind of cool this seems that their approach is to, yeah, you have the central figure of Dwayne Johnson as Black Adam, and yeah, he brings this menace of an anti-hero of somebody who would have villainous intent at the start, and then you have this group. And I was sitting here going, I'm actually really fascinated to see how these, you know, JSA members, you know, come together to face this, how we meet them through this experience, and then, yeah, what the ultimate evolution, how they'll handle. The theme is there when Dr. Fate saying, you know, like, you don't necessarily have to be, you know, a destroyer in this place. And and the one big thing that I'm 
I imagine would happen and I'm looking forward to is I feel like Dwayne Johnson loves a good like buddy character to play off of and I know in the comics there is you know certain takes where him and Adam Smasher do sort of buddy up and I feel like him and Noah Centineo together um, Centineo however you say that guy's name <laughs> I feel like them together might become a very charming duo uh, later on down the line while still keeping some of that edge so I, I was really into this uh, maybe more so uh, than the first trailer yeah I mean this looks intriguing and I, I know the draw to this is Black Adam and seeing the JSA, uh, but specifically for me, the thing I'm looking most forward to is Dr. Fate, Pierce Brosnan playing this character. I mean, the character design looks absolutely incredible. I mean, my last recollection of seeing the character, at least on the small screen, I could be wrong, but was in Smallville. I know that's everyone's favorite show. <laughs> uh, I didn't feel the character was done too much justice in that show, no pun intended, but I'm, I'm looking forward to how Pierce Brosnan is going to interpret the character. And again, just the character design and just the small little glimpses of what we're seeing here just looks really interesting. I think I was reading up that they were talking possibly with Liam Neeson about doing this role, but I think Pierce Brosnan just from what it's we've seen, and, yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty damn good casting. I mean, I'm just curious if he's going to order a vodka martini by the end of the film, shaking <laughs> not stirred, but I uh, know getting, uh, but getting back to the rock, I mean, he just, you can tell he's got such a love for this character and I'm really hoping at some point, I, I know we got a little disappointed, which we're going to talk about in the next video about uh, certain news today, but I'm, I'm hoping at some point there's some kind of a tease or something there in regards to Superman. Cause I, I really want to see Henry Cavill's Superman go up against uh black, uh, Dwayne Johnson's black Adam at some point. I mean, that's just beyond epic if we could get that at some point comic fans or even like video game fans or, or animated movie fans like it doesn't matter when the animated movies are usually based on the comics so <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, like directly so yeah like i would definitely want that too i like Dw dwayne johnson said that he's never connected to a character more than ever and i'm like really i don't how I i'm not sure maybe because he felt like wronged or something and he felt like he had to prove himself and then through aggression learned well, when the wizard gave him his guy, wrestling powers after his know. family was killed and he joined the WWE, you know, I'm just yeah, very I'm just, similar <laughs> origins. I was just so curious to know what he meant by that because, yeah, he seems like he's a super aggressive character in the beginning who will then learn to be some form i don't i don't know if the right word soft maybe like compassionate or something well it seems like you know at least here and, and two not that this is gonna have like a million tie overs with shazam fury the gods but you know like there's got to be a black adam and shazam clash and there is more godly presence dc movies up until now have treated their characters like gods but this one this new phase seems like it's actually bringing in a lot of gods and godlike powers and things like that and i feel like you know with his origin, there's a certain amount of vendetta there too, and then everybody else down below that. So maybe it's it's got to do with that kind of taking on the powers that be because it's an unfair, unjust universe, and then learning, oh, wait a minute, maybe there are just and uh, you know applications of this power that suit a grayer, harsher world that don't have to be pure villainy. All right, guys, well, here we are, Black Adam. Leave your thoughts down below on what you think about the trailer. What you think's gonna happen in this movie? Do you want to see Black Adam versus Zachary Levi first or Henry Cavill? All right, see you guys soon.